Welcome. In front of me is a Realme 7i and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you get it for the first time and you boot it up you'll be presented with this screen right here. So select your desired language, tap on next, then choose your region and again tap on next. And then, in terms of service, uh, obviously nothing greets us uh, better than uh, agreeing or forced agreement to terms of service. So, uh, if you actually uh, actually are interested in what you are agreeing to, you can tap on the blue text and literally read the entire thing. Uh, but if you're a normal person uh, that is aware that to actually use the device that you purchased, you do need to agree to it, reading it basically ma doesn't matter anymore. So we do need to agree to the uh, first one, I believe, and it's a deal, yep, and that's all we have to agree to. So from the next page, we have the option to log in to uh, Wi-Fi, that is assuming you have one. If you don't, you can skip it, as you can see right here. Um, now if you skip it, you will lose the option to log into your Google account if you wanted to do that, uh, but you can still do that later on after the setup is complete once you add. Uh, your Wi-Fi, you can then go through accounts and add it there. So here we have Wi-Fi Assistant, automatically select a best Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a fairly neat feature, basically if you have uh, multiple Wi-Fi networks in your house or at work and you are basically connected to all of them, uh, your device will pick which one is uh, the best for you uh, at your given location. So if, for instance, you're connected to some further away network that is uh, just kind of trash at the moment because you're too far away from it and there is a better one near you, it will automatically switch to it. Now, once you enable the first option, it will pop up with the uh, switch to mobile network if basically all Wi-Fi around you suck. Uh, so it's, a f again, nifty feature, but not for the people that don't have much of mobile network uh, gigabytes. So I would say if you have something like five and above gigs, then sure, I guess. Uh, but if you're running some like gig or two of uh, mobile network on your phone, I would probably discourage you from doing so. You will, because it might switch to that mobile network when you are not aware. Uh, and then you will be using it uh, when you really wouldn't need to. So from there, let's stop on next. We have Google services, so location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now, obviously, we can disagree to all of those if we don't want them. Uh, if you actually are interested in what this is, then you can exactly read it, tap on the arrow right here to expand it, uh, and select whatever you want. Then next page allows us to set up a screen lock. Uh, so we could go into the settings, and by default, we'll opt into the six digit pin, but we can also change the method by tapping right over here there we go and we have option also between a pattern four digit pin and also a password i'm gonna go with the pattern so from here i'm gonna draw the pattern then redraw the pattern and that will confirm it now automatically it goes into the face recognition option but i don't really want to set it up so i'm gonna select skip and again next thing I want to add fingerprint. Again, I don't want to, so I'm just gonna tap on cancel. We don't want to fiddle with that fingerprint sensor at the moment. And then we have recommended auto update overnight and home screen icons. Now the first one, uh, auto update overnight, it's completely up to you. Uh, it's just gonna allow the device to update when you're sleeping, which is, I would say, a nifty feature. And then home screen icons just allows you to set up how the icons look like on your home screen. So you can tap on them and see how they look like. Personally, I think the default ones are okay, so I'm gonna stick with them and then let's tap on next. Next page, import data. So here you could just grab your old device, uh, download an app on it, and basically import all the contacts, messages, photos, everything that you have on the phone to this one uh, seamlessly. But I'm setting it up as new, so I'm just gonna select it later. And that basically finishes up the setup. So click on get started and we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.